Good taste. Good taste. You have a good eye. Tough being the good one. You're a good one? Come on, do I look like a good girl? I'm talking about you. Public impression will often hold you back in life. I just thought it must be hard for you. <laughs> You're always so nice. Thanks. You are becoming more reliable every day. Keep this up and you could do my half of the work too. I don't know about your half, but I'm happy you recognize what I can do. You know what I like. Thanks. Thank you. Not bad. Thank you. Um, I'm sorry, Yuito. I pushed a lot on you without considering your feelings. Huh? What are you talking about? You know, like charms and fortune telling. I just wanted to become friends with you so badly that I went a little overboard. From now on, I'm going to do my best to be a motherly and trustworthy sisterly figure to you. I think of you as family, Yuito. I hope that doesn't bother you. Of course not. It makes me happy. I'm glad you feel that way. This 
house is nice. Wonderful! Really? Thanks! You have a good eye. This is very nice. Okay.
This is... Thanks. When I look at you lately, I realize that Naomi had a good eye for people. I was the one biased against you. What did she say about me? Oh, that's a secret between sisters. She really trusted you, though. Of course, I do now as well. I feel something special with you, though it's hard to put into words. Yeah, me too. I feel like we have a real connection. I'm sorry I made you all worry. Are you alright? I'm fine, and we have to hurry back to the Kunad Gate. We're going back there again? Do you know what we can do about it, Mother? Yes. We must get rid of the entanglements in the Kunad Gate, or the world will eventually be destroyed. Entanglements? What are they? We should head to the Kunad Gate before I explain it further. Okay. Then we'll go to the Kunad Highway. Everyone get ready. Mom, you can have a seat here. Thank you. You got so big. Huh? <laughs> that was sudden. You joined the OSF. How's Kaito? Are you getting along with your older brother? He's good. We don't really get along anymore. Oh. Can you tell me what's happening in your time, in the present? And that's basically it. The only other thing is the existence of the Kunad Gate. Thank you. Along with Babe's data, I think I understand a lot now. Are we almost ready to leave? Oh, yeah. We are. Uh, Mom? You're just like your father. Huh? No, Kaito is the one who looks like Dad. Actually, people tell me I'm not much like him. I'm not talking about your face. It's how you act. Yuido, about your father... I'm sorry I didn't tell you what he was doing. He did awful things, but it was him that saved me from Togetsu. He was kind. Oh. Kaito said he would change this country, too. He's wanted to be a politician ever since he was little. But I guess he could only take your father's path as well. Kaito did, but I... It's alright. You and Kaito are your father's and my children. I know you'll make up someday. Right. Things are moving fast, but I'm hoping you can tell us how to deal with the Kunad Gate. You said something about entanglements? Ultimately, Yuito and Kasane have to enter the Kunad Gate and unravel the entanglements. What I'm telling you here is just a concept. The traces interfering with time should look like tangled red threads. According to Togetsu's theory, whenever you jump through time, a dimensional hole like the Kunad Gate is created, but it should then disappear. The reason this hasn't disappeared is because Yuito and Kasane's powers resonated. The Kunad Gate is different from the theorized gates in that it's persisting in a distorted state. Using a distorted gate for a time jump creates entanglements. 
If you can unravel those entanglements, you can close the Kunad Gate. Distorted? I don't really get it yet. But when you say, enter the Kunad Gate, do you mean go into that hole in the sky? That strange space. Is it inside the Kunad Gate? You saw it too, when the gate first opened. Oh, that place with all the weird images? That's right. That strange space that Kasane mentioned exists inside the Kunad Gate. It is a concept of space that only exists for those with the Red String's power. Togetsu called it the Kronos Terminal. Perhaps it's a kind of station, or junction point, for traveling through time. Hmm. So only Yuito and Kasane can perceive it. I guess that explains why we didn't notice it when we jumped to the future. When there is time contact between 2020 when the gate was made and another time, entanglements are created. Time contact? Is that any different from time travel? It's a broader definition of time travel. Even if you don't arrive at that time, even if you just attempt, Basically, if someone with the Red String's power even touches that time, there is a trace. That is time contact. The only way to actually see which times have entanglements is for the two of you to go and check for yourselves. So I guess the only thing we can do is leave it to Yuito and Kasane. Even if we find the entanglements, we won't know how to unravel them until we see them. The Kronos Terminal is conceptualized by your powers, so you'll know how to unravel them. Not with reason, but with intuition. Also, I'm weak, but I can use the Red Strings, so I'll support you from here. Okay, so we just need to use the Red Strings again and enter the Kronos Terminal. I'm going with you this time. You don't know what kind of dangers will be there. Make sure you're ready before you go. If it gets dangerous, you both come right back. Don't worry, we will. Just take care of my mother. Keep her safe. It's all right. Don't worry. We will protect Wakana. All right, we don't have much time. Let me know when you're ready. Mom. I saw you again after all these years, but we haven't really talked. I get that the situation won't allow it, but... Good to go, Kasane? I'm ready. Focus your consciousness together. Picture the site of the Kronos Terminal. To the Kronos Terminal. We will unravel those entanglements. It looks like we actually made it. Are each of those images connected to different times? We can't just stand around. We have to search for the entanglements. <laughs> I guess it's nothing new when it's your third time. So, how do we find them? I don't feel anything yet. This is... It must be Mother. Is she guiding us? Let's go! Others? How are they inside the Kronos Terminal? Calm down. That place is built from your consciousness. It's an imaginary world. It is a very unstable place. Your fear and anxiety, all of your emotions affect it. The memories of your past made others appear. So basically, you're saying that these others were created by our mental immaturity. <laughs> That makes us sound pretty lame. But if we made them, we can take them down, too. I know the two of you can handle it, but be careful. So 
of our consciousness is made of? Is this other an illusion? It sure looks real. As long as your brain thinks so, it's the same as if it was. We have to fight it. I'm with you! easier to electrify now that it's wet. This is the old OSF hospital on that day in 2009. It's an entanglement. Yeah. I don't understand it, but I can feel it. This is definitely it. If we want to successfully unravel this, then I'm betting that we have to use the red strings, our power. Yes. I feel it too. We should be able to make this work. Ah, another one! Let's hold it off while we unravel the entanglement. All right. I know we can do, do it. You want. Right, Yuita? Yeah, right. With Let's go! Now! Go! I need your help! I'm using this shield! Oil. Watch out for fire! It's down! Give it everything you've got! I can hit it! Attack worked! That must be a weak spot. No way! Use my strength! Yeah! There. Thus, together! This will make the Kunad Gate disappear. Hey, Kasane. That day, I never got the chance to thank you properly. So, thank you for saving me. What? That came out of nowhere. You were the one that saved me 11 years ago at the hospital, right? I remember it perfectly now. I used to be a dud, and then all of a sudden I had powers. My power awakening? I think it was because you shared yours with me. What? Powers aren't something you can just share. Yeah, I know what I'm saying sounds silly, but 
If it were possible, it was thanks to meeting you that day that I'm still alive, and have reached my goal of getting into the OSF. That's what I think, so... Thanks for saving me. You're welcome. Is that what I'm supposed to say? <laughs> you look totally confused, but that's okay. I think it's unraveled now. Everyone is probably worried about us. Mother's power. I can still feel it. So, there's more than one entanglement? If so, it's simple. We just have to unravel all of them. Right. Okay, let's go. We did unravel that entanglement, right? I think so. But something still feels off. So you feel it too. Something's bothering me. There's another one! Is that 50 years in the future? That should be gone. This is the other okay, that attacked Yuito. So, you need help? Now I can take it easy. I think that's all of them. Have you ever thought of what you'd do if you could change history? You mean by traveling to the past? That would just create new entanglements though, wouldn't it? I mean, after the Kunat Gate is gone. If you could use the Red Strings freely. Well, yeah. I mean, sure, I've thought about it. If I had done this or hadn't done that, something would have changed. All those regrets are still there. When Nagi asked, what should I have done differently, I just couldn't come up with an answer. So, do you want to use the red strings to change the past? Mm. No, I don't. Because even if you change the past, you won't know how it will affect the future. Nagi might not have gotten caught up in all of this if he wasn't my friend. If he hadn't joined the OSF, if he didn't admire them, if I mess with the past that much and just overwrite his life, is that really saving him? And it's not just Nagi. If you change the past, it would affect the lives of everyone in the world. It's not something that one person can burden themselves with. I don't think it's right to only care about what you wish. There's a lot that I still can't accept. But it's not something that I can just ignore as if it didn't happen. I know it was a silly question. I'm actually surprised. Or maybe I'm just relieved. Because now I know I'm not the only one having these thoughts. Oh. Before, I would have answered differently. But now that I've met everyone, the way I see the world has changed. Yeah, I know what you mean. It's the same for me. You know... We actually have a lot in common. 
I think it's a little early to say that. This is Mom's... There's still an entanglement? But all the time periods we travel to... No, now's not the time to think about it. Can you keep going? I'll be okay. I'm probably just a little tired from using my brain too much. We should hurry. You only travel to those two times, right? Yes, I think those are the only ones. Isn't that... The Sumeragi Crest. That's it. This is the image I saw at the start. Right. Yakumo Sumeragi's Crest. It seems like a time entanglement appeared then. What? How? Former Major General Karin! So they're going to keep coming. We need to unravel the entanglement. Thanks, Shinobi! All hell! Okay, that should... <sighs> Yuito? This is bad. I don't think I can take much more either. So... Did we do it? That should be all of them, right? Probably, but something doesn't feel right. Karin and Yakumo Sumeragi... What happened to them? <sighs> Damn it. I'm blacking... Yuito! Kasane! 
<laughs> Mom? Mother. Where am I? Oh good, you're awake. It seems like we made it back. What's going on? The Kunad Gate... Why hasn't it disappeared? Well... Good job, you two. It's all okay now. What? But... Mother, we unraveled the entanglements. So why? <sighs> oh. Leave the rest to me. What? Thank you for growing up so strong. You've made a lot of wonderful friends. Those connections are much more valuable than any red string. Treasure them for the rest of your life. M mother <laughs> Mom. You can't go back to the past. If you go back, Toketsu will. It has to be done. Forgive me. The longer I remain here, the more painful it will be. No, hold on! There's still so much that I need to say! Mother! Yuito! Kasane, live on. Knowing you're happy is all that I could ask for. So today is the day. I may give you my brain. But you can't have my memories of the future. Kaito. Yuito. Kasane. The body has been confirmed as the target, Wakana. Current theory for cause of death is cerebral overload due to a malfunction in the personality rehabilitation device. We believe an irreversible memory wipe was conducted. There is significant damage to the memory regions in her brain, following protocol and retrieving her brain. I see. There was an entanglement from when Mom time-traveled. Mother. She explained it to us earlier when the two of you were gone. The Kunad Gate wouldn't disappear as long as she was still present in this time. We have a message she left for the two of you. Let me send it to you now.
Kana knew from the start that she was causing an entanglement. She held back her feelings so she could part with you with no regrets. She's a great person. I'm sorry. I know this hits the two of you harder than anyone else, and I'm here crying. Oh. <sighs> the uneasy feeling I had when we unraveled the entanglements eleven years ago was because Mother's entanglement still remained. Wakana wasn't from this time period, so her situation was different than yours. Hey, um, don't be so down. I'm not saying that because I'm worried about you. I said that because it affects platoon morale. I know she would have wanted to talk to the both of you some more, but she thought spending more time with you would only make things more painful. Apparently, the entanglement will unravel when Wakana returns to the past and dies like she did in history. That's strange. Wakana has returned, so how come it didn't disappear? Have all the entanglements truly been unraveled? All the entanglements we felt we unraveled. The ones eleven years ago, fifty years in the future, and the one during Yakumo Sumeragi's time period. What? What does Yakumo Sumeragi's time period have to do with anything? I think one formed when we witnessed Yakumo's assassination. What are you talking about? Yakumo was severely injured in an accident, but he wasn't assassinated. We don't really understand it either, but we saw Yakumo Sumeragi being killed by Karin. What did you say? We were busy dealing with the entanglement, but yeah, there's no doubt in my mind that that was former Major General Karin. He copied Kasane's power. Yuito, if he also copied your power. But he didn't copy my... He could have time-traveled by resonating Kasane's power with mine! So it hasn't disappeared because of the entanglement Karin created when he traveled back to Yakumo's time period? But the two of you couldn't find an entanglement. How do you expect to unravel something you can't find? Karin can unravel his own entanglement. Yes, exactly. The only thing we can do is take Karin to the Kronos Terminal and have him unravel the entanglement himself. Wataru, can you check Karin's location? I figured you'd ask, so I've been working on it. But I've got nothing. I can't find him at all. It's like he's disappeared. Supposing that he's traveled to Yakumo's time period, that would mean he's in the past. That's where you're going to find him. Are you too sure the people you saw were really Karin and Yakumo? We're sure. We could see their faces clearly. Actually, we only saw Karin's face. But that was Yakumo. I mean, he had the same mask on as all the depictions of him. Ah, uh, yes, that's it. The mask. That explains everything. Kagura, explain. Whoa, Sugumi, calm down. So, you know how Yakumo started wearing the mask because of the injuries he sustained? Rumor was, sometime after the accident, he suddenly stopped appearing in front of people and his whole personality just changed. Whole personality changed? You're not suggesting... The real Yakumo was assassinated by Karin from the future, and Karin took his place by putting on the mask? It doesn't matter. Either way, we still need to travel back to 2,000 years ago to check. Actually... No, we might not have to travel at all. You all saw my brother's video, right? Don't you remember what he said? Yakumo Sumeragi is alive! What are you... He is asleep. Deep beneath Suo. Even now, he is waiting for his revenge! Right. Cold sleep. Just like Kagero. If Yakumo is in cold sleep under Suo, then we can find out the truth by meeting him directly. 
If former Major General Karin replaced him, then he'll be the one down there in cold sleep. I'm not entirely certain as to why he did what he did. But we can talk to him and have him help us unravel the entanglement. Do we know where he's sleeping, though? I mean, Arahabaki is the only area I can think of that's under Suo. I mean, Sumeraki Tomb is the first place I thought of where Yakumo would be. Do you think he would really be in such a heavily trafficked place, though? How about it, Yuito? It's your family's tomb. Yeah, that makes sense. But I've never even been inside the building before. The head of the family is responsible for watching over Sumeragi tomb. I might be able to find something out if I talk to my brother. The chief? Do you think he'll listen to us? Actually, I've been trying to reach my brother's terminal, but I'm not getting through. There's a chance he might have blocked me. Wataru, can you ask Major General Fubuki to talk to my brother? I doubt he'd refuse a call from a Major General. Okay, leave it to me. I just don't know how soon I'll get a response. Wanna stop by our hideout then? I'm sure Yuito and Kasane could use the rest. Good idea. It would be smart to rest while we can. Thanks, Gemma. Alright, let's head back. Welcome back. I messaged Major General Fubuki. He said it might take some time to get in touch with the Chief. Thanks, Wataru. I also asked about Major General Karin, but apparently Major General Fubuki doesn't know anything either. I see. Then I guess he really is in the past. We don't have any other leads at the moment, so let's hope he's in Sumeragi Tomb. I feel like I should talk to Kagero. Are you going somewhere, Shiden? Yeah, I'm going to see the thunderclouds. Thunderclouds? Is there a storm coming in? Is it safe to be outside? Apparently these are the biggest in decades. This is a chance to see real lightning. It's a little dangerous, but I can't pass it up. Wow. Now that I think of it, I've only ever seen images of real lightning. Oh, I don't mind if you tag along, if you're interested. Sounds fun. I'll take you up on that. All right, then get ready. We'll miss the thunderclouds if we take too long. I've never seen him this excited. See those big black clouds over there? Those are thunder clouds. Wow, cool. The clouds look like mountains. So the lightning will come from there? The forecast said it should be soon. I wonder what kind of lightning it'll be. You really like lightning, don't you? Is it because of your power? Yeah, it feels familiar. And it might give me a clue for using my power. I also love the remote and powerful image of lightning. I'd like to be like that. Remote and powerful. That does sound like him. Oh, a lightning strike. Did you see that? Yeah, that's crazy. I just kind of tagged along, but this is way better than I expected. Whoa, that was close. I saw it so clearly. Hey, Shiden. Lightning is really cool! Damn right! <laughs> what did you expect? Why do you sound so proud? It's so beautiful. That powerful light. I've never seen anything like it. Yeah. The clouds are breaking up. It's over. <sighs> that was awesome. It was. You seem down. Are you sad that it's gone? Yeah. But it got me thinking, too. 
Compared to that awesome force, my power is nothing. Well, you're up against a natural phenomenon. Of course a human can't stand up to that. I know that. It's not just lightning. Even compared to other people, I'm weak. I wanted to be as strong as Captain Seto someday. I thought if I worked hard, I could be a Septentrion. I worked for years like that, but I still have no title. I'm still just... Shiden. I know that I'm stronger than I was before, but maybe this is as strong as I'm going to get. That's not like you. Is earning the title of Septentrion that important? Of course it is. It's the OSF's proof of strength. If I have it, no one can say I'm not good enough. I don't disagree that the Septentrions are amazing, but there are powerful people like Arashi that don't have any special titles. You're strong too. I think so, and so does everybody else. Isn't that enough? I want more solid proof of my strength, so that everyone has to accept it. The reason everyone appreciated Captain Seto wasn't just because of his strength in battle. He was able to move people. He encouraged them and made them brave. He had strengths that I don't have. My plan was to use this mask once I thought I had reached his level. But if that day won't come, then maybe I shouldn't have it. Don't say that. Captain Seto had it made just for you. He had this mask made because he thought I would become strong like him. As long as I can't meet those expectations, I can't wear it. Don't be stupid. That's not Captain Seto's mask. It's your mask. So you have to use it. You don't have to be like him. What? I look up to him too, but his strength is different from ours, just like you said. And it's fine that it's different. Each of us are strong in our own ways. Strong in my own way. Pretty wise words for a rookie. I was being a little arrogant, but you know what I mean. In his message, Captain Seto did say that I should trust my own strength. He knew even back then what I was lacking. Looks like I've been worrying about the wrong things. Lightning's beauty isn't meant to be compared to anyone else. And it doesn't exist to receive a title. It just exists. And it's known throughout the world. That's the strength I need. You look like you feel better. <laughs> I wasn't feeling bad in the first place. I was just a little confused. But not anymore. That mask suits you. Of course it does. It was made for me. I guess I should thank you. I won't say this is thanks to you, but if we hadn't talked, my mind wouldn't have changed. Well, you're welcome. If you keep this up, it won't be long before you're a Septentrion. No, I don't need some worn-out title like Septentrion anymore. I want to be more. The best of the best. A title from someone else wouldn't suit me. My name itself will be synonymous with strength. So the highest title in the OSF will be Shiden? <laughs> I don't think anyone would want that. That's fine. That strength is only for me to achieve. I don't think that's quite right either. But I get the gist of it. Then I'll do my best to be the strongest Yuito. <laughs> Now there's a title that's far from your reach. You have a lot of work to do. Hey, don't overdo it. Yeah. Thanks, Shiden. That was awfully straightforward. Listen, I'm not being friendly with you. It's just that keeping yourself in good condition... What are you doing? I hate when you make that stupid face. It's good being able to push each other to greater heights. I I'm not necessarily talking about us, though. Yeah, yeah. But I'm hoping our relationship is like that. <laughs>